Okay, I had an extremely busy week. Just tonight I made a pair of stainless steel hinges for my friend's boat. That's going to be a video. And this came in the mail. Kyle Toth's calendar. Thank you, Kyle. The guys from Wazer came to visit me. They brought their machine here into the shop and we got to play with it. <laughs> Give me the elevator pitch. Wazer is a desktop water jet cutter. It's the first machine that you can have in your own workshop that can make digital cuts in any material with high pressure water. I'm Nissan Maria, co-founder of Wazer. I'm Matt Nowicki. Hi. Dan, okay. it's this wacky fellow over here. <laughs> they just dragged me along. <laughs> I'm the voice of Wazer. And uh, how long have you been developing this? About a year and a half. Kickstarter live right now. We've been on for a uh, week or two right now. Past our goal, ton of traction. Um, yeah, we got units available right now, 4,500 bucks. And what is the cutting surface? How big? Uh, 12 by 18 inches. I just tested it with these guys. Actually, I let them run the show. I don't want to break it. It's the only one in existence <laughs> right now. Also this week, I paid a visit to my buddy at the Complete Sculptor, my buddy Mark. Complete Sculptor is where I get all my sculpting materials, mold making materials, some grinding tools, some tips, some burrs, and all my casting liquids. Mark, you started the Complete Sculptor when? Why? I did 22 years ago. Uh, had nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up with, with 62,000 items. Wow. And, and a bunch of crazy customers. We stock uh, dimensional carving stone, about 300 tons, and uh, all kinds of hardwoods and not not lumber, but uh, but or specialized materials. Like slabs and stuff? Slabs and blocks. The carvers. Uh, ebony. I actually have the, the world's largest cache of ebony. This is all ebony. Damn. You feel the weight on that. It's <laughs> right. Shit, it's ebony. It's one of the few woods that doesn't float. Is it's any of this related to David or any of those famous sculptures like the Pieta? Or? Yeah, that's that's from the Cabo de Michelangelo. No way. The, the Statue de Corobianco. And do you go to Italy and pick these out? I was there three days ago. No kidding. Yeah. And you just like fill a container with this stuff? And I do. That's just geological layers, that's not wood grain. Correct. Yeah. This is, so this, it's actually an onyx. This is Belgian black marble. There it is. What is that the sales price? Actually, that means sold. The, uh, and this is what it's like when you polish it. So oh this is what it looks God. like natural. Right. So when it's polished, you'll get more like that. Damn. It's actually what they used to make lights out of. So all of the alabaster sconces and things like that were actually stone. Now they're plastic. But this is the original material that they would make them out of. It's beautiful. I'm so glad I hung out for you. This is urethane foam. And this is people just CNC this, sculpt it, whatever. You can CNC it, you can carve it direct. Uh, then you can coat it and keep it as a finished product, or you can mold it and actually make other pieces. Yeah. Can this take a vacuum form? Yeah, if you're 15 pound or higher, so if this is 15 and 31, but if you feel the difference, like it's in the weed, alive, yeah. right? So this is going to capture a lot more detail, but yeah. the, the, and this is this like is like stone. Bondo, it's like a chunk of Bondo, basically. Seriously, yeah. yeah. And the, but the, these two are actually exterior grade. And this is urethane foam. Urethane foam in various grades. Correct. And this is a big mother. Yep, yeah, I got four by four by fours. All big stuff. <laughs> And how long will you be here? Everything in Manhattan's leaving. At, at least another 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> you know, but, but I won't go far. I'll find another place. All right, good. Something. And if people from all around the country and maybe even Europe can use this, sculpt.com. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, we ship worldwide. Right. And everybody in the world asks me, where do I get my patinas from, for my metal? I get it from you. I appreciate that. Sculpt.com. That's the complete sculptor. Don't miss it. With the materials I retrieved from the Complete Sculptor, I taught my students at the School of Visual Arts how to make a silicone mold and a few castings from that same mold. Here it goes, there it goes! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Everybody asks about Spike. Spike is alive and well. He's living most of the summer in upstate New York. Now that Dave's back, we're going to start doing some tip videos, so Spike will get back into the shop and you guys will get to see him. Bye. 
Taylor and I went to a horse show, and while I was at the horse show, Taylor was watching the horses. I was checking out the handmade stuff. I met a guy that makes saddles, and I met a blacksmith that has a truck that is a mobile blacksmith shop. My company is Seagull Saddlery. I, I do saddle repairs and fittings in uh, central New England. A certain breed of sheep that has a long, uh, long grain, uh, long fiber. And how often would you need to adjust the, the fitting of a horse saddle? Every six months. Right this is a new saddle, a saddle I delivered about three months ago. Um, usually within three to six months of a saddle being delivered, that should be reflocked, but six months for most saddles. Right you... I'm Rick. Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you have this truck that's completely decked out with everything you need to... Yeah, this, this truck is cust job. custom built by um, Stonewall Bodies in Genoa, New York. And they make these awesome slide outs so you can bring your tools, oh, tooling cool. right out so the so the sparks don't all hit your truck and, it, and all the trash goes on the ground. This is awesome. What do you think of the Baldor motor? So, I've been trying to find one. I might oh, just go for they're, both. they're awesome. They're great. They're as far as I'm concerned, they're top of the line. They are. Right? Um, nice. Custom built by <laughs> by um, by the same guys. They they mm -hmm. built the bracket to mount it. Yeah. Right. Um, you want to do a little more fine tuning work. Um, um, oh, that's pretty. Base. Oh, so it's half so aluminum it's, and this takes yeah. the impact. So it's actually it's actually bolted on there. If I was able, to, if I took the anvil off, it's actually bolted with two huge bolts on the bottom. Right. Cuts down on the weight. Gosh. So I just, you know, I cut them at, cut them at home. And these are that's what I made those those tools out of. That's what I made so the that's punch hardened with. Hardened already. Or? Yeah, it's hard already. But once you heat it in the forge, obviously it softens. It yeah. a bit. And so then um, after I make, after I make, you make know, once I get done making the, the I make the knife, mm -hmm. and I grind the knife the way I want it. Mm -hmm. and I'm almost done with it, um, then I'll stick it in the forge and I heat it till it loses magnetism. Yeah. And once once it loses magnetism, then I'll quench it in canola oil. Uh -huh. yeah. Then I'll take it out and stick it in a toaster oven for, I think I do it 350 for an hour and a half. Uh -huh. And then just let it set, you know, let it shut off. Let it cool. And after that, it's as good as it's gonna get. Went to the flea market and from the flea market, we found a new cool antique shop that I bought some stuff that I'm gonna make some videos with. Great antique shop in Westerloo. Guy's name is Ray. This is for taking the pits out of a cherry, I think. I met up with my friend David. David and I made friends at WIA last year. David Parraguirre. David Parraguirre. And we are here upstate. We met, we met at WIA and you said you were working in upstate New York and, yes. you, and you invited me today yep. to come look at the project and you're building three gorgeous houses in this beautiful apple orchard. You tell us picking apples. Yeah. <laughs> and we just looked at the house, which I got on camera a little bit, the one that's already in process. This is the main house. This is the studio. This is the tile shop, the studio. The family has a, an artist and she's going to work in here making tiles. Yes. This could totally stand alone as somebody's residence. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And you helped in some of the, the design? Taylor and I are here meeting David because David is going to potentially help me with my pole barn building workshop, whatever it is I end up building in my backyard. The plan keeps changing, and that's a matter of money, but we're discussing some options. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, pretty happy to help, you know. Well, I'll be around. <laughs> I'll be around. Whenever, whenever you need us. Thank you. The videos I got completed this week, my anvil stand. Plasma cut steel, quarter inch thick steel. I made an anvil stand. And also this week, I'm almost done with my chalkboard. This thing is probably one of the heaviest things I've ever built in my life. Uh, together, me and Bill Lavosi, who's spending the week with me, could not pick it up. It took me, Taylor, and Bill to just barely pick it up. <laughs> so this week, we got the saga of the Aga stove completed. Those of you that know, I bought this Aga stove with Taylor on eBay. My buddy Uncle Mullet and Robert Salazar down in San Antonio packed it up for us. And it finally made its way up here and we got it assembled. And this week I connected the flue pipe, 1,000 gallon propane tank installed in the ground to run it. Here you see me using a Multimaster from Fine. Thank you Fine for sending me that. That thing is incredible. Worked out perfect. Specifically for this job, it was great. It's an incredible stove and thank you Taylor for finding the stove. Thank you Uncle Mullet and thank you Robert. You guys were pivotal in getting this thing done. I don't want to do that again. So as soon as the propane's in the stove, we can turn it on? We can. Yay. That's it. All that. Can it make frozen pizza? Yeah, why not? Okay.
Thank you for watching.